Hello everyone, welcome back to another watching. Today we're going to take a quick follow up look at my February Watch Gang Platinum subscription. So the watch I received for my subscription is this Martinero New York Edgemere. Now, came with just a little protective sleeve over the box. The, uh, the box is kind of interesting. It a little different. I mean, it's kind of a cardboard box with a nice foam insert. We got the uh, instruction book and manual and everything here. Um, now, the watch itself, we'll just go over the uh, the basics really quick. So this is a 316L stainless case uh, with sapphire crystal, a screw down crown. It is 50 meter water resistant. It is 44 millimeters. 47 millimeters lug to lug and 11.8 millimeters thick. Now this one doesn't have a display back but it is so we can't see the movement but this one's using a Miota 8245 movement that beats at 21,600 beats per hour with a 40 hour power reserve and has 21 joules. So now that we got the particulars out of the way let's take a closer look now talking about the case I like the treatment to the case we've got polished and brush look on the case and then the crystal that sapphire crystal is pretty pretty flat but it it pops up just a little bit from the case um, the leather strap on this one is very comfortable Honestly, this is probably one of the nicer leather straps I have on a watch. It's very supple and just really, really nice. The only thing that would make it a little better, maybe some quick release, but it's nice enough that I don't plan on changing it anytime. So this one does have a logo on the crown, as well as their name on the buckle. Taking a look at the dial, it does have a little bit of texture in there. The second hand is the small sub dial there. I do like the little bit of ring of blue and the blue on the hands themselves. And I like the design of the hands on this one. The weird part is, I'm not 100% sure I really, really like the dial, although I keep wearing this one. <laughs> I've worn this one quite a bit. It's a very comfortable watch. I think it looks really nice, but it's to a certain extent, it almost looks kind of cartoony. So it's a weird, weird uh, balance of whether I like it or not. Um, now, a lot of people, I posted pictures of this one on the Facebook exchange page, just because I hadn't seen too many with uh, this Martinero New York. And uh, a lot of people asked if I wanted to trade it. So it seemed like it was a pretty popular or potentially a popular option and would be easy to trade. Now this one, if you go to their site, the full retail on it's about $500. And uh, I've only seen a couple of them on eBay and both people want around $400 for them, which I think is... A little bit up there but mind you this was the $299 subscription from watch gang so let me take off what I'm wearing here and we'll throw it on wrist really quick so there's a quick shot of it on wrist I like how it fits my wrist and I like that leather strap which might be why I keep putting this one on just because it's it's very comfortable it's not a very heavy watch at all um, I do like this one. Now, that being said, this was the $299 Platinum subscription from Watch Gang. And I've said it in the past, the problem I have with that subscription is at $300, it's a bit more of a gamble than, than a lot of people would want to take, myself included. Generally, I, if I'm spending $300, I want to get exactly what I want. Now, that being said, I actually have a number of platinum subscriptions coming in this month and we'll get into that in uh, the box opening videos for those 
But let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.